Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications, and check out the latest items in the Dark Web Deacon merch store. There is a link in the video description below, and become a true Dark Web enthusiast. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday. Today we're going to examine the five most common facial recognition myths propagated by social and mass media. Myth number one, your smartphone maker collects your face data. Although securing your smartphone using facial recognition requires an initial scan of your face, this is so your device can store it in its local memory. Your phone then uses this to learn more about your face and open your smartphone the next time it scans you. Smartphones that use face recognition store mathematical patterns of your face, which is the key to the algorithm, rather than collect your facial image into their database. So, it's not a trick by smartphone makers to deliberately grab your facial data and use it against your wish or consent. However, big tech has been caught lying or hedging the truth on more than one occasion, so it is possible they are not just storing this data locally and could pull it into their servers in the future. Myth number two, hackers can use facial recognition to hack into your social media account. This myth often conflates facial recognition with the massive amount of selfie and face pics all over the internet. Anyone can grab anybody's picture and impersonate them in a phishing or smishing attack. Hackers leverage data from data breaches to initiate attacks on people's social networks, or trick administrators at social media companies to give them access, which happened back in the summer of 2020 when Twitter accounts were hacked. For instance, Cyber attackers have used information like email and phone numbers to hack into people's Facebook accounts in the past. None of these attacks ever needed them to grab a victim's face for this purpose. An identity theft, which may involve an attacker using your picture for impersonation, isn't related to facial recognition in any way. Myth number three, facial recognition stops recognizing you as you age. There are many facial recognition technologies out there and each has a purpose. However, most facial recognition technology works on trained models to learn facial patterns over time. So facial recognition isn't a one-time scan of your face as some people may believe. Apple Face ID, for example, works by identifying the changes in your facial expression over time. Most facial systems work in the same way. So having some wrinkles or a mustache to build up on your face doesn't stop the facial recognition algorithm from recognizing you. In some cases, it might even be smart enough to recognize you when you wear glasses or contacts. So slowly aging over time, facial recognition still works. Myth number four, facial recognition is safer than other authentication technologies. While facial recognition security is deemed secure, this is still only to a certain extent. Although it uses several facial patterns and actions to identify faces, the technology still is not as secure as other biometric systems such as fingerprints and iris scans. Facial recognition is different from other authentication systems because its efficiency is dependent on four factors called API, age, pose, illumination, and motion. If any of these factors is drastically different from the original baseline scan, then it most likely will fail. Fingerprints or iris scans use the patterns of your palm or eye respectively to authenticate access. And of course, this is fairly unique for each individual and does not change over time. Myth number five, facial recognition was originally meant to invade your privacy. The original intent of facial recognition is to identify people more precisely and accurately for such things as security systems or to track down terrorists, not to spy on the general population. But the fact that it is weaponizable is a reality. China, for instance, has used facial recognition to track its citizens for surveillance reasons. But it's not just communist countries embracing this technology. More and more Western democracies seemingly have surveillance cameras on every corner in major cities. According to a 2020 report by Surfshark, only Luxembourg, Belgium, and Morocco out of 194 countries have explicitly banned facial recognition. So while facial recognition was not meant to invade your privacy, 
like almost all technology, it can be applied to make the world a better place or a much worse place, depending on who is controlling the cameras. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.